I just got finished milking. You can see that beautiful sunrise behind me. But on the other side of me, see all those piglets outside of the fence? Piglets are cute, but man, they are a handful. It's 4th of July, it's Independence Day. Hope you guys had a great Independence Day. I'm heading inside to filter some milk, and then uh, we're gonna have a couple people over later, so I have a couple chores that I need to get done, like it's supposed to be 95, so I'm thinking I may throw out a small little pool or something. See you guys in a bit. Well, I'm out here trimming with the uh, battery powered trimmer and uh, I had my second bout with paper wasps. I'm sitting here trimming around these uh, two 55 gallon drums and they had made a paper wasp nest right there. I only saw one wasp. I'm hoping I don't see any more, but you can see on top of this one over here, there's where the, the nest is right there. Silly wasps. Lucky me, still didn't get stung. Yay, let's try to keep it that way. Hope you guys had a happy Independence Day. It is really hot here. So I just moved the turkeys from here to here. Uh, they'll have more space in here. Um, and right now they're gonna have a whole lot of grass to play in. Let me see if I can find them for you. Oh, there's a couple of them right there. Let me turn this around and see if I can show you. So there's one and there's one. So they'll have some grass to play in and uh, eat. There's a couple more over here, I think. And they'll just get more ventilation. So the reason I had started them off in this is it has four sides. So it kind of eliminates drafts. They still get some ventilation over there, but it helps to keep heat in when they're chicks. Well, these guys are mostly feathered out and the lows for the next week are supposed to be in the 60s and 70s. So they'll be just fine. Um, in this corner, there's two walls and then the, the roof over top of it. So they're good. Um, guys, don't fuss with them. Now I need to head over to my brother-in-law's because he had cedars, C-I-D-R, um, put into his cows um, to try to sync them up for artificial insemination. Well, he's gone. So I've got to go over there and round up the cattle and um, don't need this plugged in for the heater anymore. And um, take the cedars out and give them an injection. This could be interesting. Let's go do that. Okay, we're over at my brother-in-law Jason's from 7-7 Crossbar Ranch. Got all the horses tied up behind us. Here come the cows. What we need to do is get them in that chute over there and in the head gate. Let's see if we can do it.
Okay, so we're done. I don't know how much video I, you guys got. I haven't looked at it yet. I know the camera flipped over, but the horses are back in the pasture. The cows are back in their pasture. I wanted to show you quickly a little bit better how um, this whole situation worked. So, see this little plastic thing? I'm not gonna touch it, but that little plastic T-shaped thing, that's the cedar insert. It's C-I-D-R. Um, that is impregnated with progesterone, I think, and it stays in for a week. And then you take it out and you give them a shot of lutelase. And then I think a week, no, it's maybe 60 hours later, you AI them. That's when they'll come into heat. Um, so you're artificially manipulating their, um, their cycle. Yeah. So my brother-in-law hasn't been around much since, yeah, he's been, well, he's been in and out a lot. So he's been, um, hasn't been able to find out when the cows are in heat. So this way he knows exactly when they'll be in heat. I wanted to show you this. So we got him to go through that little chute over there and then it comes down this alley into this catch. Okay, this is a head catch. Let's see if I can do it while I'm holding the camera. So to set it, you push it like that. So it's facing in. The cow comes through here like this. Their head comes through here like this. Their shoulders push on this. And then they're caught right here in this area right here. This is where their neck is. They can't go forward, they can't go back. Then we were able to pull out the cedar, give them the shot, and then, you, can you push that button? I don't know if you're gonna be able to push it. You push this up. There you go, push, push, push. You push this up. They can push forward, it opens wide, they come right out here, and then this panel wasn't in the way, and they go out that way. And then you repeat it, you, so you reset it, you just push this back in, push this down and in, and it locks it, it sets it for the next one to come through and push it. So, worked pretty well. It only took us, with moving all of the animals and everything, so moving the horses, getting the cows through, doing everything, then, uh, putting the cows back through and putting the horses back in the pasture because of where this is set up we had to move the horses out of the way it still only took us about 40 minutes so you can see I am sweating like crazy because it's 90 degrees the heat index is like 102 um, so I'm gonna go get in the air-conditioned car and drink some cold water and I'll see you guys later but yeah everything went pretty darn well so hopefully I was able to get a little bit of video before the camera flipped over on the uh, what I did was I used the flexible tripod and gripped it on here but then at some point it flipped over such is life anyway see you guys later